Mmm, one of the delicious. Mmm, so delicious. It reminds me my college days. We used to have a bread pakoda every day. And someday we have a cheese bread pakoda and that was one of the delicacy. I always missed it. They are very delicious. How do I make it? I'm going to share with you. Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. So I'm going to share with you to make mouth-watering and delicious cheese bread pakoras. And let's get started with the ingredients. So the ingredients we need to make our uh, cheese bread pakoda. You can use white bread or wheat bread or any bread, whatever is available. And uh, you need a cheese. We're going to use a besan, which is a gram flour. It's a one cup of besan. One cup of water. Get the whisk and we'll mix it. You need to mix it really well. So there will be no lumps. So once it's a mix, I'm going to bring my spices. I'm going to use a half teaspoon black pepper, salt, half teaspoon, red chili powder, half teaspoon. I'll mix it again. Half teaspoon minced garlic, ginger paste, half teaspoon. I'll give a good mix. I'll set it aside for 10 minutes. So it's about 10 minutes. I'll give a good mix again. It's looking perfectly fine. Now I'm going to get my bread and piece of cheese. I'll make it cut right in the middle as you do it so I'll get ready for another one get a nice piece of cheese you can use any cheese whatever do you like now I'm going to go to my fryer so now we're going to deep fry our uh, cheese uh, bread powder and it's going to be very delicious and let's get uh, started here. So I'm going to have a piece cheese already cut. So I'm going to make sure that I dip into my basin. Once you dip it, whatever the extra you have, you just uh, shake it. So you basically taking it out extra. And then I'm going to bring on my fryer. And as I bring on my fryer, I will slowly release it. Then I'll prepare the second one. So I'm going to the same process. I'm going to do that and I'll dip it. And I'll grab another one. You don't need to soak your bread for too long or anything. You just basically coated with your basin and uh, once you try it you can uh, use the spices according to your taste see look at how beautiful it's doing so I'm just going to uh, make sure that it's fully coated nicely once it's coated I'm going to bring it again and I'm going to put it into my fryer so once you put it in a fryer, please be careful that it's a hot oil, so you have to be careful not to get burned. Use extra precautions. Cooking uh, our bread cheese pecora for like two minutes. Now I'm going to turn them around. As you can see, how they're beautiful looking. And I'm going to make sure that I turn it around and we're going to cook them really well. Okay, they are perfectly turning, nicely colored. We're going to cook them for two minutes on each side, and then I'm going to pull it out. So it's about to two minutes on other side. So I'm going to see this will be done perfectly. Look at this. 
Yes. Yes, it's very well it's done. So now what you need to do that uh, get a paper towel, put it in your plate so it can soak extra oil. And I'm going to bring the other ones as well. And the last one. More dripping oil and we'll bring it here. Look at this beautiful, very delicious. The bread pakoras. It's a cheese bread pakoda. I'm going to show you. I'm going to cut it right in the middle. Look at how crunchy. Crispy. Look at this. Perfectly, nicely cooked. Perfect. And we always can serve with the hot sauce, ketchup, or any sauce, uh, whatever you like. Cheese, bread pakoras are ready. If you like uh, my uh, cheese bread pakoras, make sure, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm going to see you soon with new recipe, best of all, easy steps cooking. Thank you.